Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with a different type of video today. So, I know I've been coming at you guys a lot with mods, and I do think there's a limit to them. So I'm going to chill out with the mods for a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I love mods just as everyone else. But for today, I do have a different type of video. So, I'm going to be doing a character analysis. That's right, a character analysis on the newly revealed character called Rajiro Kiyama. So... This guy is a new character and there was a lot of confusion with him because he looked very similar to another character we have already seen before. So I have just watched episode 3 of the Beyblade Burst Super Z anime or Chozetsu anime and he did reveal a lot of key details about this character. So I'm going to go over it with you guys in this video and just kind of clear up some info and misconceptions about this one character. Now keep in mind I cannot show you any screenshots whatsoever and I do apologize but that is due to the fact that they are copyrighted and I'm not trying to get into another copyright strike. I did get one once for showing screenshots so that's why I kind of have to calm down with those. But anyway let's start off with this character. So this guy there was a lot of confusion with him because he looked a lot like his brother Rontaro Kiyama who is now or who's known as Hancho or whatever so you guys are really familiar with that character he is the owner of ragnarok and like i said you guys knew him that way and so when we saw this new character ranjiro we all assumed it was him because they do look quite alike however in episode 3 of beyblade burst super z which just released today this character was revealed to be the younger brother of Rontaro, and there's proof because he does mention him as his brother and they also show a photo frame of them together so they are brothers, which explains the same last name and also the physical resemblance. So I just want to make that clear. Once again, this new character is not Rontaro, but rather Ranjiro. So they even have a similar name. Um, of course, the differences here is the appearance, though. Despite looking kind of alike, they do have different eye colors. And then Ranjiro is rocking the entire crazy haircut, which got a lot of attention. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of out there. But um, he does kind of like have it and he stylizes it and all that stuff so it's pretty funny uh, he does have a really weird appearance but on top of that he is rocking some kind of trench coat with flames on it and also like sandals i think so he does have a really really kind of weird appearance compared to the other characters but um besides that he does seem to have a lot of power and by that i mean he has his own bait club in the show as of right now, he does have, a, I think, four or five members under his power. His Beyblade in this anime, of course, is Crash Ragnarok 11R Wedge. So that is his main Beyblade. And the backstory behind Crash Ragnarok is that his first Beyblade was actually Rising Ragnarok. So Rontaro, the older brother, once again, gave him Rising Ragnarok when he was younger. And he used that until he got better. And then two years later, he upgraded Rising Ragnarok to Crash Ragnarok. Anyway, that's a pretty cool backstory to give it. It also kind of clears up some misconceptions again about who this character really is and what his Beyblade or where it's coming from. So yeah, he basically upgraded Rising Ragnarok from one of the base scientist dudes. I forgot his name, but he contacted them and he upgraded it to the Super Z or Cho Z system, which is how he got the medal and all that. Now, in terms of personality, he's very, very much identical to Rontaro, and by that, I mean he seems pretty cocky. At least from what I could see, he's kind of up there in terms of cockiness, and he does see himself as kind of like a head honcho kind of dude, so very similar to his brother. And one thing that I thought that was really awesome is that he looks up to his brother a lot. You could see that he has a photo frame of him and his older brother together, and uh, he's reminiscing of the old times when he used to battle his brother. So I thought that was really cool. Once again, kind of touching into that sibling relationship. That's not something we really see in the Beyblade Burst anime. But the fact that they're bringing this element in is pretty cool. Um, and it, once again, it just makes for a cool backstory and all that. Now, what do I expect for this character later on? I'm not too sure. I hate to say it, but I think he might become the next Rontaro. And by that, I mean, Rontaro kind of got tossed aside after the first few episodes and he became kind of a side character. And whenever he did battle, he usually lost. The way Kartomi does things in the anime is that whatever's a new release at that time in the anime is winning battles and it's the most relevant. So right now, because Crash Ragnarok is brand new, they are giving it some screen time. But I'm thinking 10, 20 episodes down the line, it's going to become a kind of less relevant Beyblade. And I think... 
Ranjiro will be a less relevant character. So that's just speculation though, but that's just based on what happens with uh, what happened with Ranjiro in the last two seasons. And it also does happen with other characters that get introduced really early on. They tend to just get tossed aside, which is just, it kind of sucks to be honest, but that's just the way Takartomi does the anime. Or not Takartomi, but the studio that makes the anime. That's kind of how they do things. And it, it makes sense because at the end of the day, the anime is just a big advertising campaign for the Beyblades, if you guys didn't catch on to that yet. Anyway, I think I covered everything to do with this character. Once again, I'm kind of sorry I couldn't really post screenshots, but if I did, I'd get in trouble. I will post the links down below to where you can watch the anime though. Anyway, that's it for this analysis, and please do let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I know the anime has barely just premiered, it's barely on episode 3 I think, so I might be doing more of these, especially if you guys think it's good, so be sure to smash that like button down below, and also comment down below what you think. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet, and yeah, stay tuned for more videos on the way. So, until next time guys, see ya.